Hundreds are injured after a meteor hit the Russian city Chelyabinsk early Friday morning. According to NBC, there are no reports of deaths yet, and a majority of the injuries are minor cuts and scrapes. However, at least two people are said to be in intensive care. The Russian Academy of Sciences reported the meteor weighed an estimated 10 tons before entering the Earth's atmosphere, creating explosive sounds before ever hitting the ground. The Telegraph talked to Dr. Simon Green from the Open University. He explains what the boom was. So that's the, the sonic boom from the uh, entry of the object coming in at higher than the speed of sound. The object is probably 50 kilometers up in the atmosphere. And so the boom may take more than a minute to reach us on the ground. RT has pictures of the damage, mostly broken windows from shockwaves. The worst was reportedly at a zinc factory where the walls collapsed. The meteor left a crater about six feet wide, but radiation levels are described as normal. Many outlets are comparing this incident to one that occurred in 1908, the Tunguska event. That meteor hit near Siberia and had the largest impact to the Earth's surface ever recorded. Back then, an estimated 80 million trees were destroyed and shock waves were felt, breaking windows more than 100 miles away. No crater was left. And if you're worried about how this recent strike is linked to future occurrences, especially 2012 DA-14, expected to get eerily close to Earth late Friday, the BBC reports you can relax. A professor at the Astrophysics Research Center at Queen's University Belfast said there was almost definitely no connection. One reason is that the 2012 DA-14 is approaching Earth from the south and this object hit the northern hemisphere. 2012 DA-14 is reportedly the size of an Olympic swimming pool. It is not expected to hit Earth, the BBC reports. It will barrel past at a distance of about 17,000 miles, the closest ever for an object of its size. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.